I've spent most of my life trying to get out of my hometown. I live in an unremarkable area in the middle of nowhere, not known for anything in particular. I've always known that adventure was far, far away, waiting for me to chase it across continents and meridians. A plane ticket to a far off place was all that I needed to change my life. And for a while, it worked. I saw brand new lands and made brand new friends, gained confidence and good memories. I learned how to use a camera, I made huge plans, and then the world shut down. I was stuck in my hometown with the worst anxiety I've ever had and no real drive or purpose. The adventure and the travel that had kept me looking forwards, it wasn't there anymore. And I knew for a fact that I couldn't have a proper adventure so close to home, or so I thought. Tuckerman's Ravine is a huge, steep glacial cirque on the flank of Mount Washington that is enshrined in East Coast skiing lore. It's a rite of passage, almost a religious experience for any backcountry skier in the Northeast. For years, it had been staring at me from my window, daring me to attempt it. The thought of making a short film about Tuckerman's was planted in my mind after our first winter ascent of Mount Washington at the beginning of the pandemic. The thought of skiing and filming it replaced every far off adventure that would now be impossible in 2020. Through the summer I worked, and through the winter I prepared. Even as I waited for the snow to arrive, the idea kept me going through a difficult year. even a rope toe. This is skiing as it was in the beginning when you climbed as high as you could, skied as far as you'd climbed, and then went home. In 64 days after our first Washington climb, I finally stood atop Tuckerman's, and I was ready. But where's the anxiety level? It's oddly calming. <laughs> it's replaced like unfounded fear with like very real fear. It's it's relaxing. Well, I think after you see this, you'll be more comfortable inside. 
the entrance is always funny here. Yeah. And then you and you're like, oh geez, but in some ways it forces you to just go full send, and that's okay, you know. I had carried three cameras up 3,000 feet of one of the meanest mountains in the east. I was staring down the line that the project was all about, and I forgot to press record. I didn't get the shot, the shot that I had worked an entire year to get. But I'm not too worried about it, because it just gives me a good reason to come back and do it again. In a year of challenge, it was important to find the right challenges to take on. I couldn't travel, but hey, I guess there's something to be said for staying close to home.